to Wensbury and and it was Christmas and That's I said, nice. you know, while we're here, we'll sort of get to some of the, you know, because the, we'd read in the paper there was promise of a Christmas light. Right, yes. yes. Right. We've got to the light before the, the kids pinch it. Yes, but we didn't manage that, we didn't manage that. But uh, I said, while we're here, I said, we'll do a bit of Christmas shopping. And, um, you know, because next to us we've got Tipton. Tipton. Tipton, as it's called, Tipton. And, of course, Wensbury, we, we have got... A lot of the shops are struggling, you know, because... You've got a pound shop in Wednesday. We've got a pound shop. We only go in as a sale, and we'll do our sale. But Chip, Chip, what have they got? I wonder could they got the 99p shop. The 99p shop. It's a bit rough, Chip, to me, if you don't know it. So we went to Tip Tip, it being Christmas, we went into the local shop and we bought an advent calendar. Indeed. An advent calendar. And do you know when we got it home, half the windows was boarded up. <laughs> are struggling, you know, the, the little shops, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, you know, the one that surprised me probably most was Marks and Sparks. Oh, you know, you would never have thought that Marks and Sparks were having to close shops, and some of them have closed, and some of them have merged. I don't know whether you realise this, or, or are in the process of merging. Right. Some of them are merging with Pound Stretcher. <laughs> now, I can't imagine that as a shop. The two link together, can you? Marks and Sparks and Pound Stretcher. And it's going to be called Stretch Marks. Yes. <laughs> Market, just down the road from yes. Wednesday, they sell everything. Yeah, that shows you how bad things Oh, are they've got a broken biscuit, man, he's great, because he sells broken biscuits, and yeah. there's a big sign saying they're broken biscuits, yeah. and people still come up to him and say, can you find us a few yeah, that are right. not broken? <laughs> it's really happening to see those on his way. And we went round, we never realised how bad it had got to, we went round Bilston Market, because there's a bloke on Bilston Market, and he's selling, this is true, he's selling fake Primark. I... <laughs> he don't get any worse than that, does he? He's scary. But, uh, but now, it's, it's like a lot of the times, I mean, we're all the same, we all want to sort of, in the winter, be under one roof and get everything all together rather than tracks around the streets in the rain. So, Wensbury's got a big Morrison's, and, um, you know, it's, it's been a bit of a bonus because... Uh, There's no name is Morrison's, you know, no one in the town of it. Stratford. Stratford. Of course, a while back, Morrison's, uh, I suppose, you know, in keeping with one or two of the other supermarkets, they decided to drop the pound coin you business. You know, no longer have to put a pound coin in to get no, your you trolley. Get free trolleys. That was a bill, wasn't it? Yeah. It might not mean a lot to most people, it was a massive decision. In the black country, and it's around the And it was not it. putting a pound in the coin. Yeah. Change lives. Meant that every new baby in the black country had now got a new pram. Yes. <laughs> 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 